Hello and welcome to this uh, video on how to calibrate an uh, NX2 system or an NXR system using Nexus Race software. In a previous video we've already talked about how to calibrate an NX system and you do that using the instruments and you can also do a calibration procedure through the instruments with an NX2 or NXR system However, it is much, much easier to use the Nexus Race software. The Race software is provided free with every server pack that we sell, and it is also free to download from our homepage www.nexusmarine.se. We've already talked about uh, these buttons here, the uh, main function buttons, in a previous video, but let's just talk about the basic calibration that you can do with uh, the race software. So we're going to tools and then calibrate and we'll start with the log sensor. If we go to water speed first of all there is an offset value here and this should always be offset to a 0.4 knots as it is here. Now this offset value is actually a friction value so what we're saying here is that it takes 0.4 knots of current going over the log paddle wheel to actually get the thing moving due to friction. And in our experience 0.4 is the value that should be here and it's not really a good idea to actually change that value but please make sure it is 0.4. If your log is off uh, when, in regards to speed it is often off as a percentage value. Uh, so for example if it is 10% off uh, if, if it's showing 10% uh, uh, slower than you actually think it is in reality, then you can correct it here just by using the uh, entering a different value. Say, for example, if it's 5%, we just put in 5% and so on. My advice to you is that to get to know your boat, get to know your system before you actually mess around with this. Uh, you need to go over a measured distance from your C chart and you also need to make uh, to take into account current and tide. So there is a, a formula on how to do this in all the instruction books uh, but it's a very easy process to do. So let's say, say for example that our log is off by 5% and we'll leave it at that and we're going to apply it here. Sorry my software is in Swedish. Here we have an advanced correction for speed uh, on different tacks. And this is relative to this correction here. So, for example, if I notice that on my starboard tack I'm 5% slow, well, what I would do here is make sure this box is ticked and then put an extra 5% onto this value. So, in this case, it would be 10. And on my port tack, well, I know I'm fine there, so I'm going to keep that to 5% as well. This is actually um, measured from apparent wind angles. Another function of the uh, log transducer is to measure temperature and we have an offset here. Here what I'm saying is that um, uh, I'm knocking two, two degrees off my temperature because it, before it was showing two degrees too warm but usually uh, this would be zero. So that's the log transducer. Moving on to the depth transducer, here we have a transducer offset and at the moment uh, I'm measuring the depth on the good ship nexus from the waterline. So what I'm saying here is that my transducer is actually five, five, 50 centimeters below the waterline. So I'm actually adding on half a meter here to get my reading, depth reading from the waterline. If, for example, I wanted the reading from the bottom of my keel and I know that my transducer is 40 centimetres away from the bottom of my keel, in that case what I'll do, I want to knock off 40 centimetres from the actual reading and I'll do it this way. And choose OK, of course. Oop. Moving on to the compass, we have a uh, auto deviation check and a auto check. 
The uh, auto check is to see if the compass is mounted horizontal or vertical. You actually need to do this procedure twice. First, of, The first time you do it, it will check whether the compass is mounted horizontal or vertical, and the second time it will fine-tune it. Magnetic variation here, this is due to the fact that the magnetic North Pole is not, uh, is not at the same place as the true North Pole, and this is where you would add in your magnetic variation, and you get this figure from your uh, sea charts. Misalignment is here, and this is in the rare cases that your compass would be out. Moving on to our wind transducer. Uh, on the wind speed here, the offset, this is a similar value or a similar idea to what we talked about with the log transducer paddle wheel. There's a certain amount of friction uh, that uh, is in the system and with the wind transducer it is 0 0.5 meters per second as you see here. So it should be more or less 0 0.5. Installation offset down here. This is if you haven't been able to mount your wind transducer over the center line of your boat and for whatever reason it is pointing off to the starboard or port side, you can correct it here. Polar wind shear, this actually skews your polar diagram if you notice that uh, you have a different wind speed on port or starboard tacks. This analog value here is for um, an AD box, and as you see, I'm getting lots of error messages. This is because I don't have an AD box in my system. An AD box is an analog digital converter box, which is part of an NXR system. Uh, we can also calibrate our GPS. If we notice that we're offset here, latitude or longitude, we'll correct it here. And we can also correct our time zone here. So that's a very, very basic uh, run-through of the calibration procedures that you can do with Nexus Race. Uh, it's a great tool and one that you can actually come back to time and time again and update your settings. While I've got Nexus Race running, I just wanted to show you a very helpful uh, area here, which is Configure. And you can see, using the Configure button, the actual uh, instruments that you have in a system. This is very useful to see if there's anything not working, if anything, for example, has not got the right ID numbers or have got the same ID numbers, you can see it here. If you have an NXR system, you can actually do much more calibration and configuration with your system using this by clicking here and then going into the calibration and configuration settings. As you can see on the good ship Nexus here, I've got a really strange system but uh, this is we're in an office-based environment and I've got a demonstration case. Okay, well I hope you've, uh, this has been some good use to you and I hope you've understood everything. Uh, if you do need any extra help, we're only at the end of the telephone. You can call us uh, in the office on the support line or drop us an email at support at nexusmarine.se. Thank you very much for listening and we'll see you again soon.